Hey guys, Chris from Flow Designs. Today I'm going to show you how to install canards on the i30N and N line. Let's go. Okay, so in front of me, uh, I've got a canard set for one side of the car. Um, now this canard set will fit the i30N and N line, uh, but our canard set does come in a few different components. So you've got your supports, you've got the dive plane, uh, and there's also hardware to go with it uh, for two different installation methods. You can either tape it on, or if you want to go racing or go drive fast, you've got your hard mounting solution too. Uh, it also comes with a, a template to help you guide everything into the correct location. So let's go and get this on the car, and I'll show you how to get it done. Okay, before we even start touching the canards, uh, the first thing you want to do is clean the car. So I just got some clean detail here. We want to clean this surface here and also this section here because there is a support that goes there. So let's get that done. Okay, so now onto the template. So this template will help you locate um, the canards and do the correct position. Just make sure you take your time because you don't want your canards to be too far forward or too far back. So how I like to do it is I like to start to start down the bottom. It says here a line to black trim. You want to get this line exactly to where that joins. From there, you work your way up and get this to the back of the wheel arch like that, and then work your way forward. If everything lines up well, these will fold around the, around this corner here, and all the lines will also line up too. So when you get everything in position, then you tape it all down. So I'll go do that now. Okay, now that we have the template on the car, I'll just explain the two installation methods that we have. So the first method is to use the double-sided tape with the primer. Now this is great if you're gonna daily drive the car because the install is very easy. If, you, if you're happy to commit, or if you're looking to do some spirited driving, then you might wanna go with the nut and bolt method. And this gives you a really good mechanical fastening and it's gonna be really strong. So with that out of the way, let's get installing. So if you're planning to use the double-sided tape method, um, all you're going to do is just peel that perforated section and then stick this on using the primer, which I'll come back to a bit later. Um, for the mechanical fixing, which we're going to do for this car, you need to drill out the five holes there using a four mil drill bit. So we're going to drill out the holes and then we'll go ahead and peel off um, the, the perforated section to expose the paintwork. So we'll go start drilling now. Okay, now that we've drilled out the five holes, we can peel off uh, the perforator section. Just note that this support here, it doesn't need drilling. Okay, next step, we need to prepare our supports. So this step is required if you're planning to use a nut and bolt method. So what you need to do is actually drill out the holes on the supports so that way the bolt can pass through and to do that there is a little guide a little pre sort of indented spot there where you can put your drill uh, and I've also got a bit of scrap wood so that way when I drill into it I'm not gonna damage the table so method is only for if you want to use nut and bolt so I'm gonna drill these now all right so now we're ready to drill so to drill you need a four mil drill bit and there's three holes there and two holes there Okay, so I've drilled out the supports for my bolt. Um, just keep in mind that this little support, you don't need to drill it. And if you're planning to tape it on the car, you, you don't need to drill the holes out. So on to the next step. Okay, the next step is to assemble the brackets onto the support. So you just wanna first of all grab your full set. So we're working on the left. So grab the left, left and left. There's actually writing on the back of them. And then grab your brackets. 
Now how you want to assemble it is like this. You want to make sure that the textured side is facing out. Have your bracket facing out also. And then you've got your thread facing down. A bit like that. Uh, you know you have the right way because there's also a little locating pin on every single one of these brackets so you can't really go wrong. So I'll assemble it all and I'll show you. Okay, now we need to prime the surface of the support. So you do get two sticks of primer. Now you want to put one aside, but that's for the car. So how this works is inside there's a glass tube which you need to crack. Once you crack it, the, the primer will leak out onto the little tip and then you smear it covering the full entire surface of the support. So let's do that now. Okay, uh, next step is to put the double-sided tape on. So it's pretty easy, just peel the back off and stick it on like that. Let's get that done. Okay, there you have it, it's all done. Uh, it's probably worth mentioning that the tape is directional, so just make sure you get the right one. Uh, you know you have the right ones when all the holes line up. Now you need to prime the car. So using your second stick of primer, crack it, let it run out, and then fill the exposed painted area with primer here, here, but don't forget that little section there too. Now let's get that done. Now with uh, the supports primed, primed with tape and your car is primed as well, you can peel the backing tape and stick it on. Just make sure you get it within the cutouts and don't stick it on the paperwork. Okay, now you just need to press and hold that one to two minutes. Okay, so we held it there for a couple of minutes. Um, now we can remove the template. So we've got the supports on the car and we have our holes drilled out earlier. We're ready to pass through the bolt. So in terms, in terms of getting access to secure the nut, you probably want to remove the under tray, which is what we've done here. So we can go up from underneath and behind to put the nuts on. Uh, access for the lower canard, you can just simply go through the vent either here or just from behind here. You have to get it on from there. So we'll go and get that done now. Okay, so I've got the, the little washers and a nut on from the back. A couple of pro tips. Top ones, it's quite easy. Just go up nice and high. They just spread on nice and easy. The bottom ones, now it's gonna take a few goes and you will drop it a few times. You wanna go from the front. Uh, you'll need a two and a half mil Allen key for the front and a seven mil spanner, open end. And most importantly, nice little pincer grips to get your nuts in between and go that way and then you get it on. If you do drop nuts and tools in there, it, it won't matter because they just fall straight from straight to the bottom. Easy. Okay, last step is to fit your dive plane. So there's a, a lower and then an upper. So how that works is your brackets there will line up with the notched out section of the dive plane. So line those brackets up. I like to do the middle one first because that way it gives it its shape. You will need a 2.5 mil Allen key, which is provided in the kit. So middle, left, right, do the bottom one first. And then top, middle, left, right.
So now we're working on the i30N. We're going, going to go with the taping method. So what I've done so far is I've cleaned and prepped the car. I've got the template on, just making sure all the points line up. I've also prepared the supports. The important thing is I didn't drill them this time because we don't need to use um, nuts and bolts. Uh, I have primed it and I've got tape on. So all that's left is for me to prime the car and stick it on. Let's go. Okay, so we've got the supports on. Uh, it's been bonding for another one or two minutes. All that's left is to remove the template and to install the dive plane starting from the bottom. Uh, like before, you wanna make sure you start from the middle. That way the support gets its shape first and then you do other side. So let's go get that done. And there you have it. Canards installed on our i30N and N line. So for this car, we've installed it using the tape method. Uh, and for this car, we've used the nut and bolt method. Just depends on your application. So I hope you found this video helpful and thanks for watching.